you doing down there, girl? Getting this. Say hi, everybody. <gasps> I broke the end of it. Oh, your gun? She wants to tell you what materialized out of the thin air and stuck her in the butt last night. Here, give it here. It was in bed with me. Let's clarify that it wasn't, you know. How about that? We've been in this truck for, what, a year? Oh. Yeah. Come on. We don't know where it came from. It was stuck to my butt cheek. When I woke up, I thought the girl dog had done chewed something up and hit it in the bed. How did she get things stuck to her butt? I was in bed. It's not my he toy. He had a quarter stuck to his butt the other day. <laughs> yeah, but I always drop and change everywhere. I'm like, I didn't drop Uncle that. Jingles. Did you drop that? No, it's not my toy. I don't know about you. I didn't, didn't think that I get that from somewhere. I don't know. You've been laying around the bushes or something? I don't know. No, I would get bit by bugs. Well, well now we're up. Well, yeah, because we were still on the other side of the country when that happened, right? Now we're up here in Idaho, or Superior, Idaho. Montana. Superior. And there ain't no bugs up here, apparently. You know what I'm saying? The windshield's much cleaner, but then again, we just washed them, so. It's been clean for two days now. I've been cleaning it every day. I washed it when I was driving. Wait a minute. I washed it in the last video. And then you hit some more bugs. And then I washed it again this morning. Driving at night, it hit some more and bugs. And then I washed it just now. See? And I washed it in between. It'll be, it'll look good almost all the way to Seattle. We have 417 miles to go. We lost four hours somewhere along the way. Two of them was in sleep. The other other two hours was in potty breaks. Y'all realize every time you stop, you lose at least 15, 20 minutes from slowing down on the ramp, getting in, tying up the fuel spot, going in and urinating, and then leaving and getting back up to speed. You end up losing about a half an hour. Mm -hmm. I timed it. Rest areas are faster. But I've gotten stuck but in rest only areas. The day. Yeah, I've been I've pulled in rest areas and I time got stuck. Can't get out. Yeah. Nobody will answer their door. It happens. It does. Has it ever happened to you? I don't go in rest areas at night. I don't blame you. During the day, when I first started driving during if I just need to use the bathroom during the day I'd go to the rest area. But at night I'd always go to the truck stop because most of the time, if it's a decent sized truck, stop the fuel islands and everything's empty anyway, so you can just pull up and run in and you ain't even in nobody's way, because depending on the time of night, but... I know, do like that about night time. Midnight to five or something, there ain't nobody Unless waiting. you're on the East Coast, then everything's still packed. Half, half people are asleep on the fuel island. It's a nightmare. I don't, I don't want to drive over there. It gets me agitated. What the heck is little dog doing over there? He's just sniffing. He's just reading a story? Sniffing the great outdoors. Do you think that when they're out sniffing, it's like reading a book? I've seen a documentary where the dog's in Brazil, in Chile or somewhere. And, and this is a crazy documentary. They followed these dogs around all day. People let them out of their house. She's doing it now, too. And they would all go down and meet on the corner by the barber shop, like they're selling crack or something. <laughs> and then they would talk, and then they would roam the city, and these people followed the dogs around. And then every day they would go to the same spots, and and they would get in little arguments and fights and stuff. But they would still be the little, a loosely knit pack that didn't actually sleep together every night. But it was quite funny, and they had explanations for everything. I don't know if it's true. I mean, I think that dogs understand a whole lot more. And try to tell us a lot more. I think when they look at us, you know how your dog sits there and stares at you? Like he's doing now. They just stare at you like this. I I truly believe they're trying to TV, ESP, to you. Get my bone. Uh, scratch my back. Take me for a walk. Take me well, if out. If you have animals, I'm sure you've woke up because one of them was staring at you before. Yeah, I've also Cat. woke up with them going. 
told you, didn't they? Yeah, it's a sure way to wake me up is to t touch me in the face. Okay, but it works, oh, right? Buddy. I'd much rather I'm wake me up than pee anywhere. It is so hot up here today. It's like, what, 5,000 degrees, 93? But it don't feel that bad, truthfully. I'm wearing a sweatshirt because when I got up, it was 43. It was 43 when you got up. Yeah, it was 43. But, hey. I didn't tell him I need to go ahead and start getting a few winter shirts because even now, there's not winter up here. Tonight, when it's like bedtime and in the morning and stuff, it's going to be cool. Yep. And then when we go back there, it's going to be 143 degrees. Back where? Ohio. Oh, back in Ohio. Yeah. Yeah, it will be. But I still really like it. I like the cool nights and the warm days. Oh, I like the cool nights too. It's just, I go from sweatshirt to having to take it off to, you know, it's just. The burdens that you must go through. I know. You should be more sympathetic to my, my trials and situations. Thing. I'm so sorry. God bless your heart. Okay, now you're just being sarcastic and we're going to poke you in the eye if you continue. I am never sarcastic. Oh, God. I'm not. I say exactly what I mean and I mean what I say. And sometimes I just keep my mouth shut. Yeah, sometimes that's probably a good idea. It is. <laughs> it is. Just don't say anything. I might roll my eyes, though. He's a horrible eye roller. Can't help it. Horrible. I don't play poker either. And I don't think he even used to realize he did it till I told him about it, did you? You're probably the only person to make me roll my eyes. Oh, please. <laughs> I'm better than 90-some percent of the population out there. Oh, I don't know about that. There's there's some people that, that can't talk, you know, or hear. I mean, you got to admit that that's kind of pretty good stuff there. You know, not that you yak too much or anything. You yak just perfect the mouth. There you oh, go. So he's digging a hole. There now. you he's go. Digging you a hole. He's trying to. Oh my goodness! I should stop digging. How can I get out of this without making it worse? You yak just the perfect amount. Sometimes you don't yak enough, and it worries me. We've talked about that. If I don't talk, all he does is agitate me on purpose because mm -hmm. somehow that's supposed to make it better. Don't give me the silent treatment. You're starting a war if you do that. Don't do it. Even if I don't feel good and I'm just tired and quiet, it's still somehow starting to work because it all revolves around him. I'm a megalomaniac or Machiavellian or whatever. I am. When I walk in a place, I expect everybody to know my name and go, go, you know, Norm or whatever, right? If they don't, it's okay, but hey, I, they should know. Why shouldn't they? It says my name right on my shirt there, right? All right. It's, my break is over. I can go now. Ain't that awful? I take a few minutes out of, of a break to talk to you guys. But that was the, I could say that's the reason I took the break. It wasn't because the law made me, but I used my time wisely. But we'll talk to you again, again over from the Seattle area if the sun's up. If not, we'll see you from a dirt lot in the morning. Bye, guys.